Hello and welcome to my advanced depth map tutorial where I'll be showing you my technique for creating complex depth maps for interesting images. For images with simple changes in depth you can make the depth map by filling in areas with the correct shade of grey. This is the image I'll be using for this tutorial. All these crystals makes the depth vary in a far more complex manner so that simple method won't work. The first thing to do is to convert our image to a 16-bit image. This gives our gradients in the depth map much smoother appearance. Then copy each distinguishable part of the image to a new layer. The way I do this is I duplicate the layer then I use the polygonal lasso tool to select the part of the image I want. Like so. I invert the selection and clear. If I hide the original, you'll see we've got one of the parts done. repeat that for the rest of the image. There are several things you may have noticed me doing in that section. One, I kept hiding and showing the original image. That was so that I could tell which parts of the image I had yet to do. Two, some of the selections slightly overlapped others. This is okay as long as we're careful how we order our layers. And three, I left out a large amount of the background image. That's okay because we'll be approximating the background with a large gradient image. Next, I make a depth map for each separate part of the image we've made, ranging from complete black to complete white. So we'll start with this one. I do this mostly with the gradient tool, filling each section of the object that has an obvious face to it, and filling the gradient tool in the direction that the face slides off into the distance starts with a, a section that has greatest range in depth or to put it another way that starts the nearest to you and ends the furthest away in this case that face there this means that future faces you can use the original one as a reference for the different ranges in depth so here we go create a new layer select that face with the polygonal tool Then using the gradient tool with the colour set to white to black, drag in the direction that this face fades off into the distance. That's pretty good. And then select the next face. Using the gradient tool again, drag off in the direction this face fades off. It's fine to retry, just there we go, that's better. And then have a little think about how this object exists in 3D. Not only does it fade off the face direction, it also is slightly going deeper as it goes higher. So reset that layer. 
create a new layer. Set to multiply. And we'll do another gradient that fades off the other direction. Like that. Then you can adjust the opacity. This just takes practice. You have to kind of think about how the face fades off into the distance. I put it about there. Flatten that layer down. And a nice thing about having this on a layer above your original is that if there's any cracks or seams, you can then use the stamp tool to paint those seams out before collapsing it down, like so. And we have our first section done. Now you may be thinking, wait a minute, this is fading from white all the way to black. What about the rest of the image? Well, that will be adjusting a bit further off. For other parts of the image, like this man here, using the gradient tool doesn't make much sense. So you can use other tools to make the depth map for him. So, create a new layer. In this case, I will paint him with a solid grey. And then use the dodge and burn tools to paint the right depth. So, the useful thing to do is to adjust the opacity a bit, so you can see underneath the image you're painting. So it's hand at the very front. So you can use Alt, Darken. A little tube there is a bit nearer the front. His head's nearer. Shoulder. It's a bit further away. Good. This here you can see probably should be a bit further back than that. Take it down a bit. And that'll do it for this tutorial. Obviously you can spend more time making it more accurate, but I don't want this to go on forever. Then you need to repeat this process for the rest of the image.